In this video, we'll find the number of atoms in KOH. This is potassium hydroxide. So this is the hydroxide ion here. So when we look at this, there's nothing written after each element, but we assume that there's a one there. So because of that, we have one potassium atom, one oxygen atom, and one hydrogen atom. And if you add these all up, you get a total of three atoms for KOH. If you were asked how many hydroxide ions there were, so this is the hydroxide ion, you would say that there was one hydroxide ion. The hydroxide ion is OH minus. Sometimes you're asked how many moles of each atom there are. For instance, how many moles of potassium? So to figure that out, we'll take the number of atoms and then multiply that by Avogadro's number. So we have one potassium atom times Avogadro's number that gives us 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, Avogadro's number. So in one mole of KOH, we have one mole of potassium atoms, Avogadro's number. And we could do the same thing here for oxygen and hydrogen. So that's how you find the number of atoms in KOH potassium hydroxide. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.